Hello, my name is Paul Williams, speaking for Oleg Sharonov, and today we're going to show you how to use masks in 3D Look Creator. Masks allow you to apply the color correction to certain parts of the image, depending on properties of the source colors. For example, I'll desaturate the image, and we will apply the desaturation only to certain colors. Let's turn on the mask tool and see what settings it has. This is the choice of which color property we want to use for our mask, and this is the curve window with the chosen property on the horizontal axis and the correction depth or opacity plotted vertically. For example, if I set the whole curve to the highest level, I'll have correction applied to all colors. If I move the curve down, the depth of correction decreases. To see where the correction is being applied, I can press the preview button. Now I see the mask based on the red channel of the RGB color value, this means that the higher the value of the red component, the more correction is being applied. So red and yellow colors get desaturated the most, while green and blue remain untouched. Inverting the curve corresponds to inverting the mask. So now we've got the full effect where there was none, and vice versa. Let's go through the other qualifiers. Green and blue channels are similar to the red. Next, we have the black channel from the CMYK color space. On the right side of the curve, there's a maximum of black, and on the left, there's no black in the color at all. So with the current settings, dark colors are affected the most. Luminance measures the brightness of color. So now we only affect the bright parts of the image, and don't affect the dark ones. If I'd like to affect only mid-tones, I can adjust the curve like this. This mask selects all colors with medium brightness. Next we have the Hue channel from the HSL color model. Hue is the color angle on the color wheel. Red is located on the left and right hand sides of the curve and from left to right we have orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue and purple. For example, if I want to affect cyan and blue colors, I can draw this kind of curve, and the effect will be limited to this range of colors. Let's turn off the mask preview and see what colors get desaturated. The next choice on the list is saturation. The current image has maximum saturation in all its colors, so I'll load a different one. This is the LAB color plane. I turn on the mask preview and see that the further I go from the neutral point, the more saturated color I get. If I invert the curve, I can create a neutrals mask. The next qualifier is warmth. The neutral colors are at the center of the curve, with the warm colors on the right. If I desaturate those, then the warmer colors are desaturated. And if I invert the curve, then I'm desaturating the cooler colors. The next qualifiers are based on a specific color. Using the picker tool, I can choose a color from the image and the LRBAB distance means the distance on the color plane measured from the picked color. On the left, the distance is minimal and it's the exact color I've chosen. The further away, the more the color will differ from the chosen one. So by clicking on the image with the picker tool, I can build masks of certain colors. If I need a harder mask, I can change the curve and only similar colors will be affected. Here's how it looks with the preview off. The qualifier LRB distance is calculated not only from the chromatic AB component of the color, but also includes the L or luminance component. In the previous AB distance mode, when I picked the color, I got colors chosen only by hue and saturation, and brightness doesn't affect the mask. 
But in the LRB distance, if I choose some bright color, darker colors are affected less. The next one is the HSPE AB distance. It's similar to the lab distance, but a different color model is used. I'll load the color plane of the HSP color model. It looks like this. And see how selection works here. The next two qualifiers use the HSP color space. One defines the saturation and the other the phase of the color. Let's see how they are calculated. When I pick the color, the hue of this color is used to plot two axes on the color plane. This is similar on the CL grids. For example, I'll pick the same color. On the HSP color plane, one axis goes through the picked color and the second axis is orthogonal to the first one. The qualifier HSP saturation shows the projection of color on this axis. Positive values of projection are plotted to the right and negative ones to the left. So on the right side I get colors near to the chosen one, which is red in my case, and on the left side I get opposite colors which is teal in my case. Neutrals are located in the middle. So if I need to choose some color range, including neutrals, I can make this kind of curve. But if I need to choose only saturated colors, I can shift the transition point so neutrals will not be affected. HSP phase defines the distance of the color from the plotted axis. Colors that are located to the right from the axis on the color plane are plotted on the right side of the curve. Colors that are located to the left from the axis on the color plane are plotted on the left side of the curve. With these two qualifiers, the chosen color defines only the direction of the axis. The saturation of the pick color doesn't matter. So let's try this on a photo. Using this button, I can load the photo from Photoshop. I already have the photo in Photoshop, and it's loaded to 3D Lut Creator now. This photo was taken in cloudy weather, so the skin tones look a little bit cold, and I'd like to make them warmer. I'll use curves for that. I can also increase the contrast a little. So here's my subtle correction. Here's before and after. But the leaves are also getting warmer, so I'll try to remove the effect from there. I open the Masks tab and turn on the mask, turn on the preview and choose Chroma Distance Qualifier make the mask harder, and choose skin color with the picker. Now I'll adjust the curve to get the white mask on the face and the black on the rest of the photo. I can try picking different colors on the face to get a better separation. For example like this. Now I turn off the preview to see the effect of the masking. Here all the colors are being warmed and here only the skin tones are affected. Let's check before and after. So now I can use the LUT to PS button to create a color lookup layer in Photoshop. Here is this layer. I can apply this layer to other photos from the same photo shoot just by dragging it. I can change the opacity, 
I can also retouch the original photo. Always having the ability to turn off the warming effect later if I decide to and so on. Let's try another effect. I'm going to invert the mask to affect everything but the girl. I turn off the curves and start tweaking the channel mixer. For example, I'd like to have these colors. I see that the lips are affected, so I'll try and fix that. So here again is before and after. If I try this without the mask, the skin tones would become yellow. Now here's another way of using masks. I can turn on preview to see the mask and in this mode I'll send the look to Photoshop. Here I switch to channels and make a selection based on the channel. Turn off the color lookup layer and now I have the selection which I can use as a mask for any other adjustment layer such as gradient map for example. So that's all I wanted to show you about masks in 3D LUT Creator. If you have any questions, please write them in comments to the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.